Louisiana Beer Reviews. Here we are looking at True Iced Tea Taste Twisted Tea Hard Iced Tea Bourbon Barrel 5% Alcohol. Okay. Now, you say Twisted Tea. Oh, no. He's going to start doing flavored beverages. No, I'm not. Not too much. Um, this True Iced Tea Taste Twisted Tea Hard Iced Tea Bourbon Barrel is 5% alcohol, like I said. And I was looking at Mathern's Matherns yesterday and I said malt beverage. Hey, that's a fancy word for beer. This is a beer. I thought it was just some kind of alcohol laden flavored insipid iced tea. But instead it's a iced tea flavored insipid malt beverage or beer. Select teas and natural flavors age on bourbon barrel staves. Not in bourbon barrels, just on staves. Like pieces of the barrel. That's the slats that they put together to make the barrel. Okay, February 2017. It says very clearly right here, flavored beer. You little snickerdoodles. Cincinnati, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio Bringsville, Pennsylvania. What? This is, I don't... Hey, wait a minute. Look how familiar that looks. Look at this bottle design and cap design. Oh, to my surprise, surprise, this is a Boston Beer Company brand. And it's a twist off, unlike the Samuel Adams line of beers. Oh, I'll reveal the truth. I did know it was a Boston Beer Company brand. Just like the Curious Traveler, Shandy. Well, what happened was it started to lose momentum in the so-called, as they call it in their case, craft beer world, which in their case has always actually been the macro beer world or the attempt to become macro. But I mean, you know, I don't care. I, I liked much of what Samuel Adams did. Much of it, not all of it by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so, you know, they've being the ultimate capitalist that they are, they branched out. Okay, um, looks like tea. <laughs> Here's some trouble on US Highway 61. Well, what's new? Uh, it looks like tea, uh, except that there's like weird not chunks but weird globs of film at the top or like pieces of film that could be in tea I don't recall seeing that okay so beer with teas and natural flavor in it trying to mimic bourbon barrel I did have the armor bourbon barbecue Vienna sausage which was probably the best I've had in the world of the fascinating and exquisite world of Vienna sausages. Okay. Mm. Does smell kind of like bourbon barrels, kind of like some lemon flavoring, some tea. It may be some underlying malt. If it's from Boston Beer Company, I'm sure it's a two row pail malt blend. It's not certified kosher though that I could see. Tastes like um, tastes like bourbon flavored lemony flavored ice beer ice tea beer concoctions. Look, I, don't, I didn't even see this listed on Beer Advocate and Rape Beer. I guess they just don't consider it a beer. Even though it says on the bottle it's a flavored beer. It is a beer. It is a beer, just like the Seagram's. Okay, and what is the other one? Some famous... Um,
what's that other famous liquor brand that has all these beers, these flavor beers? Um, I was going to say Taka. It's not Taka. It's Seagram's and um, they got a big bin of it at, at Mathern's and they sell them for, and those are 11.2 ounce bottles. Kind of a ripoff. Um, they're all from Rochester, New York. Let's see, who's in Rochester? Mm, I gotta think for a long time. <gasps> Genesee! Well, 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 well. Actually, I drove to that brewery in Pennsylvania, the Bearingsville, but I got confused like how to get into it. I was like, maybe they do tours, and I was actually going into <laughs> to the supplier entrance, you know, the uh, with all the delivery trucks, and I was like, this is not right, so I had to do a U-turn, and I was like, oh, pff, I'm going to New York City, forget it. I just left. It was pretty big, though. Um, Um, honestly, it smells and tastes pretty good. The mouthfeel is, um, light to medium. It's an overriding lemony flavor. Flavor. And the finish is on the dry side. It's easy drinking and it's, it's fine. Um, if I was looking to buy a flavored, a tea flavored beer, and I wouldn't be, but if I was, um, I would probably reach for this. Um, what's the downside to it? It doesn't comport with what I look for in a beer. And obviously that's not really a downside. Um, that's just a personal preference issue. Quality is there if you want beer with sugar in it. Um, it said sugar. Um, so that's the downside, that it's phony baloney bullcrap postmodern dreck. But, that being said, the upside is that a lot of people like it. It's well done for what it is. And uh, you might enjoy it. Um, would I ever buy it again? No. But, um, if, but for what it is in that realm, and I know a lot of people that live in that realm and they operate as far as drinking within that realm. And yeah, I'm looking at them like, but they're looking at me like mm, which finger do you want so I, I can respect that because it's not my job to dictate to them what they need to drink because they actually never dic I notice a lot of these alternative drinkers they're, while they're busy having a good time and drinking all their insipid malt beverages they never care to tell me what I need to drink I don't think there's a malt beverage drinking snob. They're not like, oh, I see you're drinking um, um, a Russian Imperial Stout. I see you're drinking no go no o Tokyo Black Horizon with its purity. I don't ever see them doing that. They just probably don't care. So that's something to think about. You're worried about what they're drinking, but they're not worried about what you're drinking. But then, I wish that I could be like the cool kids. Okay, anyway. Laissez-les bon temps lay, kinda. But, you know, hey, y'all come on down to New Orleans. Oh, what would I rate it? Mm, I would rate it an F. It's terrible in my booklet. But, in the world of what it is, within the proper context, you know, talking about flavored beer, it's way better than the Michelob Ultra Lime, uh, Michelob Ultra Fruit Lime Cactus, which I have three left to drink, and I am really going to hate it. Um, so, in the in the depressing and uh, Some other adjective word, word of uh, flavored beers, it's pretty good. I would say it's uh, A minus. It's excellent to an extent in that realm. 